Hi everybody, today we're going to talk a little bit about video inferencing and video annotation. Uh, let's start with a little bit about uh, video inferencing here. So as you can see, it's tracking these people, um, women wearing jacket, women wearing women with black clothing and so forth. You can pause it at any time and go to that exact frame where it detects those people. And this is part of the JSON response as well with the accuracy rates and also the exact coordinates of that uh, particular asset. So let's try another one here. Um, these are people riding horses on a street. Uh, so similarly, we're able to go to these seconds. And this is per second. Um, you can also do it per half second, per one to a second, and so forth. So how do you get to this point? That's really the question. How do you get to a point where it's inferencing at this granularity? So here I've uploaded a video of some runners and we're going to do a video annotation on this. Uh, so basically what you do here is you annotate what you want to follow. So these are for unknown objects. You don't know who these are or what they are yet. Uh, and you might want to do uh, the referee up here as well. and you just hit start annotating and it will follow those unknown objects uh, now that it knows it uh, throughout the video and you can see on the left here it's collecting images for the data set for that particular or asset. So now it's doing one or two. So you can see here it's already collected 28, 29 images of that runner. Throws that into the data set. And now it's doing runner one. Now it's doing the referee. And now annotation is complete. And now it's redirecting you to the data set that it's created. And here's the data set. So you can see here the details. This is ref one. This is this is the runner, one of the runners. Here you go. And you can go into one of these and and actually change the 
annotation if you need to. You can add more. You can do what you need to on this image as well. You can erase the image if you don't like it on the data set. And then you're ready to train this. So now you've created your data set, it's ready to train. Uh, you can add more images to this, you can add more videos and annotate them to the same data set and throw it into the same model. And you can recycle this data set for multiple, multiple models and train it and do the inferencing as we discussed earlier in the video. So that's it. Thank you for listening to video inferencing and video annotation by Chuch AI.